hit the start record button, start recording, get your shit together, pack it up, leave, because you're not good at recording, uh, hi, whoa, uh, no, no, that was like rewind time, but, you know when Phil Swift, no, not Phil Swift, Will Smith said it's rewind time, that's like now. Anyways, <laughs> hi, I'm just that guy with an I, and it's core keeper time. I have nothing to say to you before I get into this game. It is about time I kill this goddamn hive mother. Actually, wait, I think I need food before I go into the hive mother nest. I need some like quality some quality power. Okay, you know what? It's probably fine. I'm probably ready to go. Let me just repair my uh, musket here. So, I'm just gonna go and try and fight this hive mother. But, uh, also I need to get through all of her little gooey friends. Which will be annoying. There seems to be a lot of floor spikes. And ground acid slime. Okay, well, we're just gonna be a bit methodical about this. Not rush through things. Ow! Yikes, these things do a lot of damage. Maybe, uh. I'm not necessarily ready for the whole cave mother thing. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm plenty prepared. I say with utmost confidence and no uncertainty whatsoever. I just have to get rid of these like 15 million enemies. All the floor shit that's gonna kill me if I step on it. There's a lot, a lot of enemies here. If they could, like, stop coming at me for, for like, half a second, that'd be pretty nice of them. So, yeah, this is, uh, not... This is gonna be a bit of a hassle to get through. It's just gonna, like, take a while. Because there's... I, I, don't, I wanna be careful about this and not fuck myself over. What is this? It's just a bone. I'm assuming this, like, slime acid is not fun to step in. Considering it's, well, acid. <sighs> I have to go north to get to this hive mother. But... I won't necessarily go north. I know I should explore this whole little area and maybe find cool things. Give me like an exotic piss fish or something. Okay, I honestly screw going slow and methodical and clearing out all the floor hazards. Because like, I don't want this to take forever. Might have to repair my axe, honestly. With, this, with the amount of durability I'm losing from doing this, and like... Uh, just, I don't know how long it'll take to get to the Hive Mother. I might have to repair my axe. Oh, what the hell? It's a lot of floor spikes. That's a lot of enemies. I'll go for floor spike way first. Because I don't think it's really that hard to deal with these floor spikes. Also, this is not the way to the cave. Cave Mother's way more not here. Cave Mother, or the Hive Mother. Cave Mother, Hive Mother. Bleh. My brain is thinking about too many things at once that's not thinking enough about anything. Oh. There's a chest over there. With, in the Hive Mother's area. And, uh, I have to get to it via the right side. 
plot right. What? Alright, let me check out what this clot rate does. Plus 3 life on melee hit. That's better than 21 max health in my eyes. Oh boy. Oh. Oh wow. It's a good thing I can one shot these little guys. Because that's a lot of them. Like, kind of too many. Too many for any normal human to withstand. I'm not normal. Oh, this is like a goddamn maze. Oh shit. Okay, well, good news is I know how to get to the chest. Bad news is... Uh, actually, I don't really think there is bad news right now. Bad news is I'm too cool for school. Well... My shovel broke, so I can't really dig up this acid anymore. New talent available in running. Perfect. I have 37 rose Easter eggs. That's cool. Larva chest. Um, 27 max health, 14 armor, 28 mining damage, and minus 5.4% movement speed. If I can find the larva helmet, I'll be disguised as a larva. Which... I mean, that's not a bad thing. Oh, and there's just a second chest here. I'm totally chill with that, because I like getting things. Uh, petrified eggs. Can these be stacked? Yes, they can. Uh, well, I don't need these rose Easter eggs, because I have enough of them at home. Speaking of home, I should go back, because my shovel is broken, and that means I can't get past these. Oh wait, I can't get past the spikes. I just have to not use my shovel, so never mind, we're Gucci. However, my axe is almost dead, and once that's dead, then it's a real problem. Health potion's nice. Larva meat is cool, and some bombs is wonderful for certain things and stuff. Wait, what the hell is that? That's something I feel like I've never seen before. Wait, I think I see the very faint glimmer of a chest up here. Yeah, baby. Man, it pays to be observant. And it pays you in rub knot. And a tin sword, which is useless. But, hey, I'll take it. Hang on a second. This is outside of the hive. Well, this isn't really where I want to be. I want to be inside the hive. Doing inside the hive things. Once I find out how to get to the cave mother, there's not really any reason for me to stay here because I will need to repair my battle axe. Since I think melee will actually be useful in this fight. Also, never mind. Okay, there is a way I can explore this. Like, I. I uh, I can explore this way without having to shovel over piss. Which is neato. Okay, this is where the hive mother is. Which is nice because that's that's not a long path. I will be right the back with uh not broken shit put this away okay back to the cave mother all right hive mother that i keep calling cave mother by a very accidental 
Your time is running thin. Wait, this is another direction. Never mind me, guys. I have to go this way. And then up here. Okay. Oh, fuck. I forgot my food. Because I put it in a chest. So I thought I was... Ugh. Fuck it. I'm going to try this fight without the food. Get attacked, cave mother. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I did not realize there's a hive there that spawns stuff. Oh. Okay. It's spawning acid floor, which I don't appreciate. Nope. Nope. Get out of here. How am I supposed to kill that hive egg in time? That has so much HP. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, that hive egg is spawning things. Oh, I don't like that it is angry at half HP. That's a lot of HP for it to be angry at. Goddamn. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, these hive eggs are just gonna keep spawning. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Alright, let's put down some bombs. Let's, let's let's see if we can maybe end some of some of these souls. Oh wow. Yikers, yikes, yikes, yikes. I don't know about this one. Maybe if I had the food, this would be a bit easier. This is a bit ridiculous. I'm still gonna fight to the end though. Get out of the way. Be got on you. It's all about patience. Hell yeah. Alright, I see I didn't need the food anyways. Because I just had a lot of healing potions. And the ability to kite the ever-living shit out of the bugs. Because... There's no fucking chance for you to... Like, there's... I don't have the DPS to kill those those hive things. They have, like, 2,000 HP. I think that's because it's hard mode. Maybe I'm playing on hard mode, so maybe if it was normal difficulty, um, maybe then you could get through it, like, without them just spawning. Or maybe if I just had better gear, but I think... I think I'm this I have the gear that I'm supposed to have considering I killed the boss. So unless I'm like mega gamer that those 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 uh those hive things just have too much HP. Oof. All right. Let's see here. Hive bone pants. Uh 26 max health, 14 armor, 
3.1% melee and range attack speed, plus 10 thorns damage. Um, and it's a th part of a three-part set where you're immune to acid damage if you get all three. Which, I don't get all three. But that's, I don't, I think that's good. Thorns damage sounds cool. Uh, some ancient gemstones. The larva helm. So now I have both of the sets and I can disguise as a larva. Fiber. Heart of the Hive Mother, of course. Some larva meat, makes sense. And a hand mortar. 25 to 29 range damage with 0.7 attacks per second. And it does 161 to 195 explosive damage with 546 mining damage. Uh, I mean, that's wor still worse than a flintlock, but it does do AoE. Six, 16 max health, 9 armor. Oh wow, these hive bone pants are good compared to the bronze pants. Yeah. Okay. Well... That's all three of the statue boss thingy-majig thingers dead. Now all I need to do is put the heart into the statue and see what happens next. Also, ooh, treasure chest. Glad I came over here. What's inside? Hey, another flintlock musket. That's cool, I guess. Not that I need it. I... Th I've probably gotten pretty much everything over here. And I don't really need to or want to be here anymore. So let me go back to the uh, zone. My house is what I'm looking for to calling it. Uh, huzzah, I am, I am arrived. Sir, would you like to purchase some of my many skulls that I have found? I assure you they are quite skull. Alright. Gonna org I'm gonna organize this inventory real quick. You're not gonna see it. And then I'm gonna put the hive mother thing in the thing. Oof. Enough of the bullshit. Enough for making you guys wait. Boom boom. hi -ya. Oh, it's like an eyeball and it blinked or something. Alright, I'll deal with that in a second, but what's this? Ancient hologram pod, a strange device that materializes spirits of the past. Okay. I don't know what that is, but I can maybe make that? Grubzooka. 104 to 126 range damage. Projectiles pierce through enemies. Oh, that's not bad. And a larva spike club. Uh, 2.5 attacks per second with 100. Whoa, this this is really good. 117 to 141 damage with 2.5 attacks per second and a chance to knock back. A third percent chance to knock back. So if I need to get myself some iron bars to get that, the Grubzuka doesn't seem bad, but for 20 iron bars, it's pretty pricey. This is only 12 and wowza. Uh, Alright, let me see if I can make this ancient hologram pod. And then I'll check out the eye and why it's looking at me. Okay, I can't make the hologram pod. Alright. What's up? Thou hast awakened us. Never have we seen a creature such as thee. Are you some sort of like god or something? There once was a thriving civilization here, but it seems all of it has been lost. We must have been dormant for, for aeons. We wonder. We must ask something of thee. Seek the ancient titans still roaming beyond the Great Wall. 
What am I in China now? Whatever. Destroy them and collect their souls. Okay. Relax. Whoa. With their energy, we can restore what once was. Do I really want to restore a long last dead civilization? I don't know. In return, thou shalt be able to go back to whence thou camest. Okay, I am totally down for returning this past civilization in order to be back where I was. By the power with which we know and view thee, the great wall shall be opened as thou layest a hand upon it. Aw, oh, thank you for imbuing me with hand-laying powers. Thou must traverse far out to the great wall and lay a hand upon it to open it. The titans can be found beyond the great wall. Okay. Do I know where this great wall is? No. Looks like I gotta go find a great wall. And also iron. Because that's what I need. Which, uh, I'm, oof, I don't know about showing you guys all that. It's probably going to take me a while to find that stuff. And, I don't know, I guess, I guess we'll see if uh, I can see what I'm looking at when I'm seeing that stuff. Did that make any sense? No, does it have to? God, no. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Core Keeper. Relax and chill and be excited for the next episode. It'll come when it comes. Probably in a couple of days, like three, four is my guess. I don't know. I don't really plan things very hard or in future sightedly. I literally plan for the day for tomorrow and that's as far as my planning goes so deal with with not knowing when stuff happens involving me because i don't know when stuff happens involving me and have a good night because i'm recording this when it's nighttime so it's nighttime for you by my dictation good night